Hey, hello everyone. In this particular lecture, we are going to learn about that how to handle the post request in Node.js HTTP module, right? So, what is this post request? Well, post requests are super important because they allow the client to send the data to your server, right? And these could be like form data, the user login details, uh, the API payloads, anything. All these things can be sent from the client to the server with the help of this POST request, right? I hope you understood the concept till now. Now, uh, how we can do it with the help of this code, right? So we will, we are going to understand that. But before that, I have written something for you. You can see here that first of all, I have imported this HTTP module and stored inside this HTTP variable. After that, I have created a server, right? With the help of this create server method and store it inside this server variable after that i made my server to listen at the port number 3000 and there's a callback function right i hope you get it till now now let's start the process so what we are going to do we are first dealing with this request so what we will do that uh, to check that whether the particular request is a post method we need to see that whether the request dot method is post or not right this is what we check first and then there's one more need that we need to check that we are on the particular URL in, on which this post method is applied, right? So for that, we are going to put the conditions that is if request dot URL URL equals to slash submit like this, right? And put the two and here, sorry, put the two and here and request dot method right this is the url basically after you okay let me explain you that when you go to the browser what you do you make the search right you make the search at what localhost 3000 like right this is what you do well on your front end basically uh, you also make it like this that on the localhost 3000 slash and then you put here submit so when you click on some button and this button to redirect you to this slash summit basically at that time this particular post method will be called right we put the method as the post in the front end okay right now this is what i was telling to you after that inside of this uh, when you check success okay wait 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 request dot method equals to double equals to and request dot url should also double equals to right now inside of this uh, we will check that whether the method is post or not for that post right so this is what you need to put as a condition after that come here and inside this first of all take a variable take a variable that is let body right body variable and put it blank like this now after that we will collect the data first of all one thing that you need to do, uh, learn and uh, keep this into your concept that is when the post method sends a data to the server, it comes in the form of chunks, means small data. So for that purpose, you need to first collect all the data and then move toward the end part, right? So I will explain you that how you can do it. So basically what we will do, we will write response dot on and then inside of this, we will write the data like this. This is how we do it, right? After that, we write let's write the chunk here right chunk you can write whatever you want it's all on you right chunk and we will write body body equals plus equals to chunk dot to string like this right now what i am doing here you need to understand that right so basically with the help of this we are collecting the data that are coming from the client side to the server right in the form of chunk and every data that comes means every chunk that comes we are collecting it and first of all before collecting like right we are convert the buffer right this particular thing we are converting the buffer into the string and then we are storing it inside this body variable right we are adding the every chunk and storing it inside this body variable right so this is how actually we collect the data in chunks right after that uh, when all the data will get received 
then we move to this particular request dot on right uh, wait this not this should be request not response so request dot on and then the data and here request dot on and then here we will put e and d end right after that comma like this and inside of this what we will write uh, we will actually want then whenever the data will get received to the server side i want this data whatever the data that will come to get printed inside my terminal right that's why i'm going to write console.log and inside of this we will write that uh, received data comma and whatever data you have received is actually inside this body right so this body right so i want that at the end when the whole data will get received you print my data here and at the response of that you do what that is response dot write head and we will put the status code as 200 and we will define the content type right so content type as since it is a json data we are going to send so we will put that application slash json here right after that response dot end and here we will write json dot stringify bracket inside of this the message to be that data received and after that uh, put uh, like you have put this right that is uh, response dot end that is json dot stringify and after writing this just do one thing that put the comma here and give the data is to be body right i want this to be printed as the response also so we will see in the postman the, about that right so this is what this is your if condition you can also put the else condition too right so hereafter what we will do we will write the else condition also that is in such case that we are not either re redirect to the slash submit or the method is not either post in that particular condition you do what you just write response dot write head bracket inside this we will write 404 that is not found comma and um, you can give it uh, the plain text like content type as text slash plain right we are going to send a plain text uh, that is response dot end and in the that particular response we will say that not found like this right so this is the complete uh, so this is the complete code as you can see here the main thing is inside the server right this is the main part here first of all we are checking and then we are adding the data in the form of chunk which we are receiving and in the end part we are going to print that particular data inside our terminal and as a response body also right and if in the case that the condition is not satisfied then we are sending a response that is not found this is what we are doing so let's go to the postman you can see i am on the postman right now and you can see we are on the port number we made our server to listen to the port number 3000 right so here first of all the method should be post so go here and make the method as post and inside of this we'll write local okay let me just uh just a second http like this because i'm doing something wrong here Okay, let's just remove this thing and put this as 3000 right after that slash and then at which particular URL that is slash submit right so write the submit here like this right so we have put the post method and we have written our URL here after that just go to the body 
and we will send the raw data so make sure you, that you come to this raw right and let's write a uh, json data here like this inside this i will give the name as piyush comma the age as uh, let's say 22 right let's give that so this is what we have written till now right so now we are going to send this particular uh, response as a post so for that we will just make the send if our code will be correct then we will get that particular response that is the data is sent successfully right and we will see that particular data as a response in our terminal also so let's see let's send and uh, does anything wrong here okay we have not started our server yet okay right uh, let's write node script dot js press enter and our server started at port number 3000 now send it and you can see the data is received right and the particular data is here you can see this is the data so we have received two things that is first that the message which is data is received and after that what we received what we got that is this particular data where it is where from where it is coming it is coming from here you can see uh, we have made this response right so inside this response first of all what we were doing we were sending this particular message that is data uh, received and then inside this data we are sending this body so this is the body right whatever the body you have received here you can see it is here now inside this terminal now you can see the received data is what name as Piyush and the age is 22 I hope you understood the concept till now this is how we deal with uh, post request in the HTTP module uh, if you like the video then make sure that you hit the like and subscribe button thank you so much for watching uh, we will meet in the next video very soon till then goodbye